Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm a mom of 13 kids. If you haven't met me already, my husband and I have been married for 30 years, just about. Uh, this picture behind me only has 12 of our children in it. It was taken a few years ago. Um, now we have another baby we've added to our family just a few months ago. Her name is Millie. She is uh, almost four months old and she has a double heart murmur due to the fact that she has Down syndrome. But we don't mind, she's such a sweetheart. and We've just really enjoyed her. So hopefully you'll join us on our journey with her as well as everything else we got going on. Today is not the most positive video, but it's the most real video you could get from me. I can't help but think that maybe I'm just doing something wrong. You know, I keep trying and trying. It's like I'm on a, a merry-go-round and I just keep doing the same things over and over, the same projects over and over, and it's still just like it multiplies and has babies. I don't know. Now keep in mind that you might actually feel better about yourself after watching this video, considering, you know, they say that when you have a lot of problems of your own, if you focus on someone else's, you'll feel better. So you're guaranteed to feel better after this video. And if you don't feel better, you'll at least feel like you're in good company because that you sure are. Do you have little minions running all over your house, tearing things apart, making things a mess? Cause I sure do. Getting up every day and just getting everything done is ridiculous. I'm feeling more and more behind every single day, and that's the truth of the matter. I thought I could keep up with everything, but I can't. I'd have to be superhuman to do that, wouldn't I? I mean, I always knew I wanted a big family. I always knew I wanted 13 kids. I finally have 13 kids, and it turns out that 13 is my limit because I've had a you know, when I've only had two or three kids, it was easy to juggle. Four, five, six kids, still pretty easy to juggle. I mean, I always had to juggle at first, but now, and I like, just cannot see the progress. It's a shame. I mean, everywhere you look, there's just a mess. And I'm about to show you exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my house so that you can see that I am not making this up. It's no joke. This is hardcore needing help, right? So here, I'm just gonna show you exactly what's going on. I'm not even joking, just wait and see. See, when you walk in, everything is here, but it's not exactly as it should be. And I just am so confused about whether or not I should just leave it or not, right? I mean, you walk in, of course, we need to put the car seat there, but what about all this other stuff? You know, this is my bill collection. Like, I don't like to deal with bills once a week, so I keep them all, I keep the mail just dropped right there, and then I sort it and deal with it and take, you know, I've got, well, we'll talk about that some other time. But I've got like all this stuff here. The kids have their cute little toys out. I mean, isn't that just precious? How am I supposed to be mad about that? We, you know, I can never get rid of all the clutter right here. So everybody likes to hang crap all over here. It's not the way it's supposed to be. At least they stack the skateboards, right? But somebody always inevitably leaves a pair of shoes or two there. So I just told my son to start throwing them in this basket. This is the summer basket. We're just starting that. It's got the stuff for the summer things. I'm thinking about getting one more basket. They just love to leave their shoes here. And it looks better having them in a basket than all over. But I just am so frustrated. I feel like I'm always trying to find solutions to these problems. I mean, I can't keep the pillows straight for nothing. I can't get kids to pick up their stuff for nothing. But just look at this. I mean, these my kids play with. Why do I even have these still? I have so much stuff I need to get rid of. And I just still have it. But we have so much life going on. Look at this. Trash dump. Someone emptied out, what, a bag, a purse? I don't even know. This is leftover from last night. It was picked up at one point yesterday, but here we go. Then we have all this school stuff I need to go through. I need to take care of the school area. I have the grandkid toys. I've got to go through their basket because people just throw all the clutter in here. There's a bunch of stuff that doesn't go in there. I'll do that one, too. You know, baby's walker's got to be in here, but there's just little random things. It can be picked up shortly, I know. They, they put food plates on the, the ledge. I've got their just stuff. Here's a kitchen in its glory. Got to clear the table. Got to put the dishes away. Got to clean up from what happened after dinner last night and the brownies we made, <laughs> the mess we made. Then I've got someone in the middle of doing laundry. You know, it's just, here's my, my bathroom. At least it stays pretty clean because it's pretty streamlined and simplified. There's the backyard. It's not near what I want it to be. There's Sammy. That's our turtle. 
Why is a tortoise, not a turtle? Be nice if the trash in the cup wasn't in the yard, right? Why is that stuff here? Yeah, boys, 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 boys. Get ready to take that pull down and get another one. That'd be fabulous. There's a bookshelf. It's usually really cute. And uh, the kids just, I don't know, we got tape, money. It's, it's random. Um, that's probably how your houses are. I don't know. You, you just probably are better at picking it up than I am. A towel. There's towels from the last two days when we went swimming. <laughs> Here's our clutter basket. My dirty sheets. And then, of course, my bookcase where I keep church stuff and grandkid books, whatever, just whatnot, basically. And the suitcases, where am I supposed to put those? That whole pile, whatever. And then the kids' room. I mean, this disaster happens over and over. Got a sleeping baby. There he is. Well, not really a baby. They're just kids. You can tell by the room. What a disaster. I mean, it just blows my mind how many times I've had to come in this room and try to straighten it out. And it just keeps happening over and over. Even when I watch them. It still happens an hour later. There's another sleeper, another sleeper, and another sleeper. Four kids sleep in this bed. Yep, this room holds a lot of stuff. So, like I was saying, I, I just keep trying different things and it never stays. So, then you know, the hallway looks a disaster. There's just probably more stuff here. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't turn a light on, but I'm just trying to figure things out. I'm, I'm more discouraged and overwhelmed. I mean, look at this bathroom. Let me turn the light on. Maybe you can, well, open the curtain so you can see. I don't even know if that helped or made a difference. But they just thrashed the bathroom. I mean, sure, I'll clean it up in a few minutes and it'll look better. But for how long? I mean, not even a full nay. Towels everywhere from swimming. That's our life in the summer. You know, just at least the bookcase isn't too beat up. But still, you've got to constantly put everything back together. And it's ridiculous. And they bust holes in the doors that you've painted. And, the walls I'm gonna check make sure they're okay and not decent, indecent oh yeah they're decent so I'll just show you the room real quick this is what two teenage boys looks like in here yeah overwhelming that's all I got to say so then uh, we'll just make my make our ways over here and you can check out my bedroom yeah my bedroom the only thing that looks halfway decent is the bed and Millie's wide awake on there but, you know, here's Rod's side and the office dresser. I mean, there's just stuff hanging out everywhere. I think the dresser's on its last leg. At least the drawers are. The, the function's not quite right anymore. It just opens with a little bit of weight in the drawer. I never even took the stuff off the bed. I think I slept with it on there last night. There's random crap on the dresser. I mean, like Legos. Ha, ha Star Wars. You got just stuff that I'm not sure if it belongs in my bedroom or not. Piles. My grab-and-go piles are everywhere, but whatever. I'm just trying to figure out what there's room for and what there's not room for. A nightstand. That's my little pumping station area. And there's my yoga ball and sewing area that I don't ever get to use anymore. My office area. It's... I mean, I use it a lot, but there's just not a lot to get into. My bathroom stays pretty clean for the most part. I mean, it has to be tidied on a daily basis, and I have to wash the baby bottles every day. The commode area stays really clean. But that's a given, right, because it's simple. And uh, put that new caddy in the shower. I really like that. There used to be a smaller one. I didn't like it. This one goes all the way to the top. It's just so much better for the shower. Now we'll uh, go take a look at my closet. My husband's side looks pretty good because I pay my son to clean it every week. He just tidies it up for him because that's something my husband refuses to do and has for the last 30 years, truth be known. And, you know, I make a mess too. That's just the way it goes. But today I should be able to clean that up. It's just one of those things. You try to make room and have a place for everything you've got and it's never the way you want it and that's kind of what I'm talking about is I'm falling behind and 
I just can't get everything done. And oh well, look at this cute, cute baby. All we want to do is be That's with my me. little Millie Rose. She's so sweet. I would rather just hold her and play with her than do any of the other things I'm supposed to. I just like to stay cuddled up with her. I'll tell you more about that later, but she's just the happiness in my life right now. And what else matters? Does a clean house really matter? I mean, I'm really fighting this inside. Do you ever fight that? I really just hope that I get to figure this all out because as far as I'm concerned, this is the only thing that matters. Yes, looking into those eyes, loving that little girl is the only thing that matters. And I don't know how to have anything else that matter. I'd rather hold her and play with her. What a distraction. But she is the distraction I'm supposed to be distracted with. She's supposed to be the one I focus on, right? That's where the attention needs to be. That's where the attention needs to go. She is the thing that matters most. She's the most important thing. The sweetest thing. I just love her so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. And thank you for your encouragement with our sweet baby, Millie. She is a doll. So for her, I'm not going to give up. And if I'm not going to give up, you shouldn't give up. We really can do this, don't you think? So I'm just going to keep on going. And maybe, maybe there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And it's not a train. And if it is, let's find out. Let's just keep going and keep moving forward. Because somehow, some way, we've got to be able to tackle this. It keeps weighing down on me. It's like the same thing over and over, like I said. And we've got to find the answers to make it so it's done. And our homes are streamlined and our homes are in the order they need to be because it is just not working for me. I'm looking for solutions. If you have any suggestions, let's go with it. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in some way. I hope it made you feel better about your life and everything that you're going through. But the bottom line is there's a lot of work to do. I have a lot of problems but I'm sick of the problems. Can we just focus on the solutions already? I mean, seriously, that's all I have for today. Take care, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with people, anybody else you think it might help. I really appreciate it. I love all the new friends we've been making and I hope that I get to meet you soon on my next live video. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell, that way you're notified every time I post a video because a lot of times like this, I just do surprise videos and this is one of the surprises so enjoy take care have a great weekend bye, -bye.